Last night was a spectacular night for education. We highlighted the educators that we've shown to you each and every month. And I had the pleasure of emceeing the event alongside the wonderful Marcus Allen. In fact, we also made the big announcement of who won the coveted title as ABC 10's 2024 Teacher of the Year winner. Better yet, actors Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt delivered the exciting news. Check it out. The Teacher of the Year is... Holly, Holly Gottwalls, Rockland Unified. Unified. Congratulations, Holly. Congratulations, Holly. And and she's here. We've got Holly Gottwalls, ABC 10's 2024 Teacher of the Year winner, alongside with Julie DePrada Scott, who is with Schools First Federal Credit Union. She is the School and Community Relations Specialist for Schools First. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I mean, Holly, we're coming off some excitement of last night. What was your reaction when hearing that you were the 2023 2024 Teacher of the Year winner? I was shocked, um, especially hearing it from Ryan Gosling and Emily. Yeah. Um, that was amazing. <laughs> and um, there was a lot of really great teachers that were up there. So I feel very honored to be um, Teacher of the Year. Yeah, well, we're happy to have you here. And I mean, Julie, Schools First, we have partnered with you year after year after year. You're the sponsors for this event. It must have been exciting to see Holly being announced as the winner last night. Oh, it was so amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, we are a credit union that is dedicated to school employees so to be able and her fanfare in the audience <laughs> to be able to hear them all yell yeah. and scream and know that she's making such a difference just yeah. helps that we can help a little bit help make a difference for you oh don't start crying, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> no. <laughs> and she's a member i am so yes. Yeah. So <laughs> excited. That's exciting. And I mean, Holly, <laughs> tell us about your class and why you enjoy teaching them. Um, so I teach in the Rockland Unified School District. Yeah. I teach in a adult transition program. So it's students 18 to 20 year olds that have special needs. Mm -hmm. And we work on independent living skills, um, self-advocacy, um, functional academics, job skills. Um, some examples is like in the classroom, the students rent their desks and so they have to pay rent. We give them fake money each month, and so they have bills. They have to write um, checks for that and kind of budget. They also cook. We just had a salsa competition for Cinco de Mayo, so students had to research um, recipes for salsa and then go buy the ingredients. Um, our students also go to Sierra College. We have a great partnership with the Sierra College and the professors and the counselors, so our students take um, like PE or theater classes yeah. and and then they also work out in the community so we partner with a lot of the businesses yeah. um, Walmart we work with Walmart we work with 180 Church um, Bel Air mm. and then we also make dog biscuits in our classroom. Tell us about these dog biscuits. So they're all natural we make them yeah. in the classroom and sell them to different businesses. Mm -hmm. um, Deer Creek has some and um, we sell them to them as well and we brought some for the crew today. Yes, that's amazing. Okay, so I mean, we can just hear the passion you have in being a teacher. What made you want to become a teacher? Well, my mom and my aunt and my grandma are all teachers, but I have a brother that has Down syndrome. So that's kind of what got me into being a special ed teacher. So I remember going to his therapy lessons and teaching them sign language. Mm -hmm. And um, then when I was in eighth grade, I went and volunteered in his class and yeah. loved it and fell in love with it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just love making a difference um, with the students and knowing what I teach they're going to use for the rest of their lives. That's amazing. And that's great that your inspiration came from your brother as well. Tell us about, I mean, we were definitely there last night to highlight you and all of the amazing teachers that go above and beyond. So tell us about a teacher who inspired you as a student and why. Well, it wasn't really a teacher that I had in the classroom. It was actually my brother's teacher. So when I was in eighth grade, she allowed me to go and um, help out in her classroom. And then I went back for summer. And her name's Laura Smith. And when I first started teaching, she was at my school site. And she was my mentor teacher. And I still talk to her today. And she's mm -hmm. actually graduating. I'm not graduating. She's actually um, retiring oh, wow. this year. So. Yeah, and I still keep in touch with her. Oh, that's amazing. Well, shout out to your teacher who's retiring and made that impact on you as well. And Julie Schools First has sponsored the Teacher of the Month, Teacher of the Year program for many, many years. Tell us why it's an important program for your credit union. You know, 90 years this year. She has we, the pin. I do have the pin. <laughs> uh, we have been a credit union put together by school employees yeah. for school employees. Mm -hmm. So it is 
It is our honor and our pleasure to go out and be able to help our members and even those that aren't members but who work in yeah. the school districts because you know it's hard to be in schools right now mm -hmm. but it's never been harder to be in schools than it has right yeah. now and so we're just so happy to be able to be here and help you guys yeah. even a little bit I w yeah I said it last night I'm gonna say it again teachers ask for so little but they do so much so Holly I hope you take a moment to embrace all of this I know it can feel a little strange we've got you on TV you're getting the spotlight on you but really take it in because you you do a lot and I hope you I hope you cherish that thank you of course thank you both for being on the show today thank you, <laughs> thank you. all right so would you like to see your teacher up here being recognized for the great work that they do like Holly is well you can nominate your teacher of the month today by going to ABC 10 dot com slash teacher of the month who knows we might be announcing their name this time around next year YCL will be right back